welcome to the channel here we go uh, initial bass outing of the year just gonna fish for a couple of hours I got Rick in the back my name is Mark this is man on a mission fishing thanks so much for joining don't forget to like and subscribe we're gonna just fish a few pre-spawn bass here water temps are hovering right around that 60 degree mark here in the Brainerd Lakes area we're kind of up towards that mission Crosby uh, cross lake area on a small lake uh, fairly clear water uh, weeds are up just a bit not a lot we're gonna throw some moving baits some stick worms and things like that we'll see what Rick throws out he, he usually has something unique to throw so we'll, we'll check out his uh, his stuff in the uh, later on in the footage when we're weighing his five pounders that he's gonna be catching so here we go thanks for joining uh, we'll get at it here in a second Don't even measure this one. This first fish of the year, bass fishing. Caught a few catch uh, fishing walleyes, but I'm not gonna measure this one because my scale's not working. It's gonna be about a four, 13, I suppose. Yeah, 13 incher, right on the nose. Probably a little over a pound, I would guess. Rick's got one in the back. He's killing it. <laughs> My flyer. He's up to his. He's up to his. Uh... <laughs> At least he's not in the gullet or the gills, but he's. He's up on the to... side of his mouth. <laughs> he's up to his mid-season form. <laughs> Little guy. The, uh, the scales not working. Yeah, we're gonna be focusing a little shallower. I think. I think. There's a fish. That's a good one. Well, I shouldn't say real good. Decent fish. measure the other ones because they were the scale wasn't working I swapped out some batteries I think I got it working though so we'll see I think we got about uh, two and a half pounds maybe on those other two Rick's was a little over about a pound and a quarter pound and a half mine was maybe a pound this one's gonna be two pounder Two pound four ounce or spinner bait. Setting up for the spawn here. Water temps are a little warmer than I thought. Rick's got one or 
isn't in the weeds. I need to go over there. Got him. He's coming. Okay. Now that I got the scale working, we can at least pump it in there. That's a rock bass. <laughs> oh, never bide. Don't get too excited. It's a glorious rock bass. So we're about 45 minutes in. We got three fish. We, we've we kind of fished the outside of this point. I thought it was going to be a spawning flat. And then we pushed up kind of into the reeds and that's where we've been catching the fish. They're not big though. Again, up in the shallow reeds here. Plastic worm. Oh, he's throwing a plastic worm? I thought you were throwing a jig. Oh, plastic worm. They always feel better than they are on this rod. Couple of pounds again, I think. Maybe. Close. Not even two pounds, I don't think. Pound eight. 672 for our three biggest that would be five but we didn't weigh the first two so i'd say we're probably more in the uh, nine pound range for our top five <laughs> right now but we'll stay with the 672 because we only weighed three of them i think i should be shallower shallow they won't be in them I don't think I don't know then again maybe they will be I mean we're quite a bit shallower than we were over there already got one yeah all right as soon as I cast up into the reeds yeah. Plastic worm gets us all the way up to 9.45, 9.45. So we still got one to go for five. 
And then we working on our magical 13 pounds, which if we don't make it today, I mean, this pre-spawn, these suckers should be going big time. So we should be able to catch that. And if not, mm, be pretty disappointed. Pound one ounce around the plastic worm up in the reeds again. Takes all the way up to 11.53. 11.53 for five. Catching all these dinks, it's awesome. Ugh. calls a 1.8 takes us all the way up to 12.12 pounds so everything's over two now we've been fishing a couple hours I guess catching everything in these shallow reeds no real big ones yet I think the big females are still sagging a little bit deeper but uh, we tried a little bit on the weed line and or in the cabbage and didn't catch any so we're back to what we were catching them on before. Everything we've got is over two of those, so two pound nine ouncer on the spinner bait takes up to 12.63. 12.63. We're gonna need to catch a three pounder to make 13, so we got a couple that are just barely over two, so I guess if we catch two more two and a halfs, we can make it.
to three. I don't think it's going to quite get us there. But it might take us to 13. here on a spinner bait takes up to 13.05 13.05 so made our 13 pound limit our goal but still lots of room to grow here can't catch anything over three a better one. At least a two pounder, I would say. Almost three again. Same boat. Get rid of a two Three. This should take us well into the 13 pound, 13 and a half maybe. Another two pound nine ouncer. That's about what we can get. Takes up to 13.38, 13.38. Just have to get something in that three pound range to get some more weight. Is that just a stick sticking out? like a good one. Right on that stick. Looks like a good Ouncer takes us up to uh, 13.63, 13.62 actually. So caught that one in a little bit deeper water, uh, kind of cast up by a stick that I can see sticking out of the water here. It's about seven feet deep here. Water temperatures are in the low 60s here, so we're we're kind of working a weed flat here. The reeds worked good in the morning when we tried a couple other patches and they're not going toward more towards, uh, it's like 11 o'clock now. Um, I'm using a chopped off Senko uh, on an Echo rig with a little nail weight in there. Got lucky on that one. Two pounds, 13 ounce, or nice. Let's get a couple more. We gotta get a couple over three pounds. That's what we gotta get. Need some help? 
what we're looking for. That's gotta be a three pounder, huh? Feathering it in. That takes all the way up to 14.74, 1474. We need a quarter of a pound to get to 15, which is our next goal. Although we don't uh, we don't state it as one of our main goals of the day, but 15 is kind of what we shoot for once we get 13. This one's better. Ooh, found it big. Was it? Sounded big. Gabalooch. Need help or? Hell yeah, that's a four pound, that's a three pounder. Like the one I and love it. Right in the same spot as the last two bites. Um, I'm put it on. I'll put it on spot. Where whereabouts are you catching them? Right up on the reeds? Yeah, as far as I can cast. seeing those weeds that I was casting to Three anymore. pound, one ouncer, caught on the uh, plastic worm again in the reeds. Takes all the way up to 15.27, 15.27, so turn it into a decent day. So that's gonna do it for us today. First time on the water for, for bass this year. Got the boat out, made sure the electronics and the, everything was still working good, motor, trolling motor and all that seemed to do fine we were just going to hit the lake for a few hours we ended up fishing for about four and a half almost five i guess it was uh caught bass on um plastic worm spinnerbait uh nico rigged uh senkos uh, ended up with 15.27 pounds which is pretty good for the first trip of the year we made that 15 pound barrier which is kind of what we really shoot for uh even though it's not one of our main goals as stated in the channel that's kind of what we shoot for once we hit 13. So we made that. That was pretty good. Uh, I think I had big fish and Rick had probably, I think he caught all the rest. Except, I think I caught two keepers that we weighed and Rick had three. And he had one over three as well. He had a 214 or 215 and a 211, I think. So he whacked them pretty good today. I had a three, I don't even remember what it was, three and three quarters, I guess and a two and a half I think so ends up with a pretty good day so uh, hey we're gonna try and get out a little bit more we're still gonna be doing some walleye fishing don't know if we'll, we'll, we'll film that we haven't been filming this year we've been having pretty good luck too but uh, just haven't had the cameras out so uh, do a little more walleye fishing this week a little more bass as well uh, we'll see you on the channel next time thanks so much for joining don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the water next